Ryder, welcome. Thank you for for accepting. Thank you for having me. So, can you just make like a small description of uh, what you do and a little bit more about the Bullet Journal? Sure. Um, essentially, I created this productivity system known as the Bullet Journal. Um, that's what I do full time now. Essentially, trying to teach bullet journaling to people um, for different kinds of use cases. So essentially, bullet journaling is designed to be incredibly flexible, uh, to be able to map on different kinds of lives, essentially, which is something that I learned about after I released it to the public. So I'm also a student. So I'm trying to take the incredible amount of feedback that I'm getting from this growing community and trying to curate it in a way that becomes most helpful and effective to the rest of the community. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, at least for me, it's, it's the flexibility that really got me to stick with it. Where, where is it? It's here. Yeah, so now, like every time I'm, I'm working, I have it with me. It's a little bit personalized because I put Road Delta <laughs> here <laughs> just nice. to, <laughs> just small detail. And um, yeah, that's that's how I because I, I use a lot of different tools so far. Usually, digital, like uh, apps, or uh, I started before discovering Bullet Journal, my notebook. But to be honest, my system wasn't as good. <laughs> 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 so it's really, and I think it's why people really enjoy it because it's very flexible and it's. It fits to everyone because it's so simple and yet very complex because there's a lot of different terms like threading and migrating. So in your opinion, what do you think was really the features that got people to to use it? Because there's a lot of these tools or out there and why bullet journal? Sure. Um... There's a couple different answers for that. I think that the flexibility was the key, but also that I was very open and forward about the fact that you should make it your own. So the way that I see Bullet Journal is that I kind of give you an empty house and it's up for you to decorate it any way you see fit. For me personally, like I was at a big challenge when taking on somebody else's system that they forced me to do it their way. And that's not because it wasn't necessarily effective, but every one of us has a completely different experience. We have different circumstances, different backgrounds, different educations. And I found that a lot of times when people force me to try to adhere to a very specific protocol of some kind, especially for organization, it was very hit or miss. Sometimes it would work, but then my circumstances changed and then it wouldn't work anymore. And then... I didn't know what to do, or sometimes I didn't understand it, and then it just made me feel bad about myself because I it was either too hard or too complicated or it was too much work. So um, when I was developing the bullet journal, like I, I played into that. I wanted something that could be incredibly flexible, but also really forgiving. And I think the two go hand in hand. So on the one hand, it's very much kind of like an analog framework that allows you to have enough of a foundation to support you in your efforts, but at the same time gives you the freedom to play and explore and to really figure out for yourself what it is that you need. Um, like a real critical focus about bullet journaling is not necessarily organization, it's about attention. It's about what you're focusing on and why you're focusing on these things. Keeping lists is, is just part of it. And, it. and I think that that's something that people who start playing around with the bullet journal start to realize after the first or second month, like, yes, on the one hand, bullet journal definitely helps you become more organized, but more importantly, it also forces you to think about the things that you're working on and figuring out how to best go about making progress in any of these different places. Yeah, I do feel that I needed a system to begin with. So that's why I was searching already, but the bullet journal really, okay, I found a system that I could use that it was actually usable. And I don't know if that makes sense. So it's like, it's simple enough so that I can use it every single day without really thinking about, oh, I should be doing this or I should be doing that. There's just the keys 
and I mean after a couple of times using it you get used to okay point means this cross means this and even that is very flexible because you can create your own but mm -hmm. I don't have any efforts to use it and I can just open it start a day and just use it to just go through the day and just every time I have an idea for row delta I put it every time I have I come up with a to-do list I put it there and I don't need to think okay this goes in that page and this goes in that page so everything is like streamlined and then after the month uh, I, I can just go through and and actually it's a very nice story because when I started my first uh, well this is my first bullet journal the first to do let's say it's start the Bro Delta podcast <laughs> and <laughs> no, that's, like, that's awesome <laughs> yeah and well the, the the days went by and when it was time to migrate so this means to basically look at your whole month and figure out what you do what you didn't do and basically write the next uh, month and okay there there it was <laughs> I, I cannot forget this Bro Delta podcast needs to be started. So it kind of got me into that mindset of, okay, I need to cross this thing out. And it remind me that I need this, I need to do this thing because I identify that it's something that it's important. And that's, mm. that's really one of the things that it was effortless to put it there, but to get it out, it's, well, I now I have to start podcast, so that's why I'm doing this right now. <laughs> Full circle. Yeah, yeah I, I, th I think that it's something that we don't consider often enough. The idea of bullet journaling, again, is like you take something from your head and you put it in paper so you, know, you have more space to think and then have clarity. But a lot of the time, we don't have an opportunity to really stop and consider what it is that we're writing down, what we're tasking ourselves with. I mean, app, like people always ask me, why isn't there just an app for that? You know, like, can't I just use an app to take notes? And the answer is like, absolutely, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, you know, until recently, I'd spent the last 18 years designing apps. I've designed to do apps of my own. You know, they're the... There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but I felt like a very critical aspect of actually being productive and not just staying busy is to stop and really consider what it is that you're putting your time and your energy into, right? So with the bullet journal, just by the virtue of, being a, of it being analog every time you do a migration, once a month or once a week, depending on what works better for you, you really have to consider just for a moment if something's worth writing down again, right? Just just that one moment and it forces you to stop and like, okay, if, if it's not even worth the energy for you to copy it over just once, then chances are it's probably not worth your time and energy. You know, anything worth your time and energy is, is worth three seconds to keep it in your mind. But over time that becomes a really helpful filter. It had been for me, like it, for me, organization is always just, about planning the minimum amount necessary, right? I don't really like spending a lot of time planning on things. I like getting my thoughts out and the same thing, the same thing for this, just a minimal amount of effort can make a world of difference over time because it's just one small action that otherwise disappears. Like example for apps, I have apps with hundreds of to do's in them. I don't know where they are. I never look at them anymore. It's too easy. I just, I write it down and I forget about it. Yeah. With, with bullet journaling, you have the opportunity to look at it again. You kind of have to look at it again. And I feel like by keeping in mind all the things that we're busy with on a very regular committed way, in a very regular and committed way, you are much more likely to succeed or at least push forward things that continue to add value to your life. Yeah. And I, I think it really helps also that you write it down, like physically write it down. Because I do think that it has a different effect than just typing. Because that's one of the issues with the things I, I started or I try to start is that, okay, in the app or in the computer, just starting a file or like a notepad and just, just typing away. And even, I mean, it just gets lost. And because you didn't put 
that much effort into it so that you can remember and just you have to do lists and files and files of things that you just don't intend in doing because you will not remember that you even have. That's one of my biggest issues is that I just forget about I was using that app. So I started with Evernote, <laughs> Evernote, and then, oh yeah, I, I used to do that there. But I don't know, it's, uh, it's not too much effort to use them, but it's not enough so that I, I can actually remember. And writing it down in bullet journal and having that system and taking the bullet journal everywhere actually helps me to, to do that. Because my phone, I have it all the time. It's like common to have it, but to take the bullet journal, again, it's a little bit more of an effort and in a good way, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, it, is it the simplest thing in the world to do? No, not at all, but that's kind of by design. Yeah. Again, I feel like technology's real goal is to get out of your way as much as possible. And we've gotten to a point where it gets out of your way to, so much so that it it becomes invisible. And sometimes that's wonderful, like if you're just trying to check your bank statement, like you don't want to think about how to use the app, you just want to see the numbers. Yeah. But when it's something that involves an action or being productive, I feel like it needs to it needs to be able to remind you in a very real way and having a physical object, something that's tangible, that has weight is a constant reminder on its own. You know, pe people always try to ask me questions like, well, what happens if I want to write down a website or if I want to share something? And, and again, like in this case, it's like, then you use something else for that and that's okay. Like at the end of the day, bullet journal is just a tool yeah. and it's about figuring out what tools work best for you. For me, and for the people who are part of this community, it just turns out that having a tool that you can hold in your hands and can be flexible can accomplish a lot of things. Not everything. It's not designed to, but it's it's about discovering what it can do for you. That's really part of the process. And I found that like digital means don't have the same. Well, they don't have the same weight. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and metaphorically, but also literally. Yeah, yeah. And you can actually personalize one, the bullet journal to make it yours. And mm -hmm. think it's a very nice, nice community around the bullet journal. Mm -hmm. Exactly because of that. Because, I mean, I, I see bullet journals that are beautiful. <laughs> I mean, mine look like crap. <laughs> so does mine. So, yeah. yeah. It, it, you know, that, that's the thing that's so interesting to me to see how like I I share this idea and for me my bullet journal was always about reduction so I, I actually studied art and you know in, in a in a different time I wanted to become an illustrator so like a lot of my books were very elaborate but over time my bullet journal practice became leaner and leaner and leaner and leaner like i spend as little time as possible with my bullet journal it's, it's a big secret like for me again it's <laughs> it's just a tool yeah. and like for me like the tool is only as effective as it is in helping you accomplish what it is that you're trying to do but other people use the bullet journal and that opportunity uh to do different kinds of work and that work can be expressing their creativity or having some kind of creative outlet or meditation. So their goal is actually in the bullet journal itself already. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's yeah. just the act of bullet journaling that is the goal. And yeah. I think that's wonderful that people have discovered that for themselves. That being said, your bullet journal doesn't have to look good. It's not about the way it looks. It's about how it works always. Yeah, as long as it works for you and you get it so, out. Yeah. And don't you feel now that um, by because bullet journal will be to not make you more productive, but at least uh, unclutter your mind and make you so that you are doing the things that you should be doing. And I feel like sometimes people can fall into the trap of make, trying to make it as beautiful as they can. And they kind of forget that, well, it's a tool to, well, not waste time with a tool. 
I don't right. know what your thoughts on this. Well, I mean, it, it's kind of the, it, it's, you get, get into a place where like how much planning is too much planning. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sure. Some people will spend entirely way too much time in their bullet journal, but the only person who can really make that judgment is themselves. Okay. Right. Like I, I feel that I don't know what's happening in their life. I would never assume to know what it is that brings them to bullet journal. And even in my own practice, I rediscover it all the time. Like, why am I doing this? And by asking myself that question, I, I'm, I take the time that I need to really see whether or not what I'm doing is, is at all moving the needle, you know, and For some people, they spend an hour or two in their bullet journal making it look beautiful, mm. and then one of two things can happen. One, they're like, I got nothing done and I feel bad about myself, which I'm sure happens, but that's their call to make. Or on the other hand, they're like, I feel so much more relaxed, now I can go back into my day and mm. you know, do whatever it is that I need to do. Because like a lot of times planning can also give you the confidence that you won't find elsewhere. Okay. So yes, are, are, are some people wasting time? Absolutely. But I think over time, and you see this with a lot of bullet journals too, like bullet journals will become different over time. A lot of people's bullet journals become more and more and more minimal when they are trying to focus on something that's outside of the bullet journal. But if the bullet journal is what brings them value, like actually journaling and illustrating, then they can spend more and more and more time with that. And I think, again, part of the bullet journaling practice, part of the experience is figuring out what it is that you're trying to get out of this tool. You know, like at the end of the day, it is simply a tool, one that I found to be incredibly practicable, uh, practical and in helping me accomplish my goals. Um, so if you feel like it's a burden, that's probably a good sign that you're spending too much time doing it or, or spending too much planning. Or if you feel like you're falling behind, then you may want to look at the way that you go about planning these things. But it's, it's, it's not a science. Uh, I mean, it's not a science. Life isn't a science either. Like the beautiful thing is that like every moment is an opportunity to do better. Like you can yeah. all of a sudden realize, okay, I can stop and I can change it right now. And what's so nice about bullet journaling, at least for me, is that it always meets you where you are. Mm -hmm. So if you're having a good day or you're having a bad day or you don't do it for a couple of days, it doesn't matter. You just come back to it with a new resolve or some new context and then you move forward from there. So if you feel like you're wasting time, then you have your bullet journal to figure out where you could actually be saving time. Maybe it's less bullet journaling. Maybe it's less TV. Maybe it's something. Mm -hmm. But at least... If you are actively bullet journaling, you will have made a list of the things that you're doing. So you have a very clear account of how you're spending your time and your energy. So the tool will actually not make you better, but at least make you more aware of how you want to spend your time. Yeah, I really feel yeah, like, I, yeah. I feel like no tool can make you better, but you can get better at working with your tool. Yes, yes, that's well said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, so that's yeah. that's the idea. You bring the mastery into the into the practice itself. It's just there to remind you that you know you have work to do. Yeah, that's a really good point because in, in self development or in this world or as a industry, <laughs> you you get a lot of these tools that are supposed to make you better. But I guess you are just as good as the tool you use, right? Yeah, and it's very nice yeah. inside. Yeah very yeah i mean I, I, on a different level it's like i used to make short films all the time and i found myself buying all this equipment hoping that like it would make my films better and everything things that i didn't know how to use yeah. and a big revelation for me like early on in that is like i need to have the tools that let me accomplish exactly what it is that i'm trying to do and like half the time all, all the stuff i bought just like was wasted. I mean, in general, we buy all these things. They're like, if I buy this, then all of a sudden something's going to happen. And I, at least in my own case, all this film equipment maybe got used once or twice and it was a waste of time. So what I started doing is I started buying things and using tools only to get me past my hurdles. Like every time I found a boundary, I would buy the ladder, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. 
and I feel like bullet journal works very much the same way. It's, it's, it allows you to see what it is that you need in order to move forward, or at least help you find the right tool if it isn't it in itself. Yeah, it really remind me of, I don't know if you're aware of Casey Neistat, that he just uses, so he uses the cameras just as a tool. So, and by product, he really <laughs> not, doesn't treat them very well, <laughs> but, <laughs> But that's exactly the point. So it's just to get you to to that point and just matters more who's behind the, the bullet journal wielding that that pen and not really the system itself. And what, what I do love about that is it's very flexible, but then the way you presented in the video you did uh, basically explaining. And I will be honest, the first uh, interaction I had, I, I saw bullet journal everywhere and I thought okay this is like a, a system that someone came up with and then I saw bulletjournal.com and I saw that was like a registered um, brand let's say like the, the name bullet journal and then I thought oh, okay it's just uh, like a company making a, a, a notebook that anyone can do and they are just selling this but then when I got into it I thought no this is actually like an open source uh, system that anyone can use and your first video was actually just with a normal uh, notebook and you explaining the system and that I think was the trigger that really got me into it it's like okay a system that I can at least try uh, and I don't need to buy anything well I do I did need to buy a <laughs> notebook but you know what I mean sure. <laughs> Yeah, so. yeah, I mean, you definitely need to, you don't need our notebook to start bullet journaling. And the idea is even the notebook itself should be something that you love. Um, when I first released bullet journal, it was a personal project. It was a little passion project and I put it together and I had no idea what it would become. But over time, you know, it, 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 it very quickly proved to be very valuable to people. And that's when it, 